Inside a growing and thriving city, it's normal to see construction, traffic, and plenty of change. But in Bentonville, Arkansas, there's at least one constant. A beacon high in the sky, one that nearly 50 years ago was in need of a refresh. In fact, there's the water tower from back in 1975, but let me prove my point further. Let's flip the pages of the Benton County Democrat from August 20th of 75. My design was chosen. I was the only bidder. What'd you bid? $600. Just, I made up that number. Say hello to Bentonville native Steve Marquis. Steve had an idea. He put it on paper and topped 55 other submissions to win the chance to update this icon. Well, what kind of collateral have you got you could put up? So, well, I've got a 51 GMC pickup and a bicycle. He said, oh, hell, just go do it. Now the job was his. His first move, head to a local hardware store on the square. I ordered uh, four gallons of blue paint and two gallons of red paint. Armed with six gallons of paint and a six-foot stepladder, Marquez was ready to climb and start changing history one painted letter at a time. I went up there every other day. I went up eight days every other day, so it took two weeks. And I would take, you know, lunch and a book to read while I took a break or whatever. Would you stay up there? Stayed up all day. It was interesting being up there. You weren't really in communication with anybody. Yeah. Every once in a while a car would honk or something. 50 years ago, a man destined to be mayor made his mark for the city he loved. And he did all of this without even knowing. The time he spent painting with a bird's eye view would leave a lasting impact still felt today. I'd say if you haven't got anything to do, there's always something you can do. You can get involved in all kinds of things, meet all kinds of people, even though you haven't got anything much to do.